Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your Facebook application to work with Get Paid Social. Now this might be a little bit of a, of a daunting technical task for those of you who aren't that computer savvy, but I promise you I'm going to make this as super simple as possible because it really is quite a simple process if you just follow me step by step. And you're going to be pretty proud of yourself for doing this if you are that kind of a person that doesn't think you can, you can do technical things like this. So let's get started. All you're going to do is you head over to developers.facebook.com and you can even just shortcut to developers.facebook.com slash apps as that's where we need to go. Now. If you've never created a Facebook app before, again, it's a super simple process, and uh, it, it, your screen might look a little bit different than mine does. So if that's the case, then you're going to have to create your developer account, and you just simply follow the instructions for doing so. It might ask you to verify your identity in different ways, but you need to create your developer account. Once you've done that, you'll see a screen that looks like this, that you've never created any apps, and so all you can do is click this Create a New App button, and from here, the display name that I recommend you use is your name. So, for example, I would be Jeff Long Sharing App, or you could use your first name, Jeff Sharing App, if that's available, uh, or your first name, right? So, namespace is going to be the exact same thing, Jeff Long Sharing App. And the category, um, I usually choose business, and uh, that's what I recommend you do as well. Click Create App ID, and it's telling me it's already used by some other app. So, I, oh yeah, I already created a test app. So we're going to do uh, Jeff sharing app GPS, whatever. And we're going to create our app ID. So now it's going to ask you to verify that you're human. So let's go through and select all the photos that are flowers. All right, perfect. Now your app has been created, and I wish we were done at this point, but we're getting close. So now what we need to do is just set some settings so that your app can work with get paid social so head on over to your settings tab here and enter in the app domain field the app domain of authorizefb.com that's authorizefb.com if you get confused and you're not sure what I'm saying here if you click on the question mark right here in your Facebook application settings under settings and setup you can see that information right there okay authorizefb.com you're also going to want to copy and paste your site URL. So let's copy that. Right click, hit copy. Come back over to Facebook and uh, we're going to put that here in the Add Platform section. So don't do anything else other than entering your app domain right here in this field. Now click on Add Platform. And what I mean by don't do anything else is don't click the Save Changes button, otherwise, you're going to get an error. Okay? So click on Add Platform, click on Website and then paste in that URL that you just copied from Facebook. Simple as that. Now you're safe to click on Save Changes. The next thing is enter your Facebook email address and click Save Changes again. Okay, great, you're doing awesome. Let's head over to Status and Review. We're almost done. And you're going to click this little toggle button here to turn your app live. Click on the toggle button and then click on Confirm. Everything else on this page completely ignore. Don't ever click start a submission. You don't have to do any of that. You are the owner of this app and you you are automatically approved with the permissions that you need. This is if you are going to invite others to be part of your app and they would need to approve these different kind of permissions. So you don't have to worry about any of this and ignore it. The last important thing is come on over to app details. You can ignore all of this but the most important thing and required otherwise you're gonna get a notice from Facebook is enter your privacy policy URL. Your privacy policy URL is authorizefb.com lowercase privacy.html just like you see here. That's it. Don't need to worry about any of this other stuff. You're welcome to put anything else in here that you would like, but you don't have to. You're done at this point setting up your app on Facebook. So now what we want to do is copy and paste our app ID and our app secret. So we're going to click on the show button here so that we can see the app secret and it might ask you to enter your Facebook password to see it. Copy and paste your app ID. So right click, copy. And when you get over here, you're going to see a message that says this. This is just telling you you've got to put in your Facebook application details. So to do that, click on settings and setup and copy and paste your FB application ID right here. Just right click, click paste. There you go. Head back over to Facebook, grab your app secret, copy that, right click, click copy, 
and right click and paste. Excellent. So once you've done that, click on Save All Profile Settings. And we're going to save your application ID and your secret. Great. So if that's saved properly, you should go over here to Settings and Setup. And you should see a new button here. And yep, you guessed it. Click the big blue button. It'll take you over to Facebook. It's going to ask you to authorize some permissions that is required in order for the app to work. Now, ignore this little thing up here. I already explained this. You don't need to submit anything for review. That's again if you're going to invite people to become part of your app, which you're not. You're the only person that's going to be using this app. Um, the app's going to get all of these permissions so they can do what it needs to do. And you're going to click OK. Now, let me tell you, on this step, there's nothing to worry about. I'm not getting any of this information. We're not storing anything other than what is required in order for the app to run. But all of these permissions are required in order for the app to do what it needs to do. Um, again, this is all private to you, nothing to worry about. Click on OK, but you have to approve every single thing. When you click on, uh, when it asks you who you want to share these posts with, click on Public. This is important, make sure they're public. Okay, and then hit OK. From here, click OK as well. All permissions will be granted and you will be returned back over to Get Paid Social where you can continue. Wonderful. So the good news is that at this point, you are all done. If you click on Settings and Setup, you should see your Facebook application has been set up with GPS successfully. You should see this success message. As long as you see that message, you're good to go and you can, start, you can now perform Facebook sharing related tasks. So enjoy. If you need any help with this, please let us know.